Right, time for the eyes. Now normally I, I wouldn't do the eyes at this stage. I'd wait until I got a bit more depth around it, but this is a difficult animal to judge. So I've decided to do the eyes at this stage and then the eyes would and the dark hair will all be done together and it will give me a better idea. So the light goes in first of all, followed by that by the ivory. Now we don't want the light here to be too pronounced. So I've chosen ivory as opposed to the um, white. Okay, now the next colour we're going to put in there will be a little bit of ochre. Now this is 182. When I say a little bit, that's exactly what I mean, because really what we want here is more um, ready ochre, which is 187, than the, this, but this, this tempers it down a bit. It means that what we can do then is mix the two colours together and it doesn't make it quite so red, rich, rich. That's the right word for it. And I'll just notice that what we're going to do is put a little bit of white in here and a little bit of white in here. Would you believe, folks, I'm working on two different dogs here because I like the eye in one. I like the colour of the eye in one and the shape of the eye in another. So this is why it's going to take me just a little bit longer to do this. But it's you're going to be only following me on the one eye. Now that is 187, and that's a colour that's going to go on top of. Do you see what I mean? If I had put that on rich, let me just show you. If I put that on rich, it would have been far too rich there. Look at the difference between those two. So I've used basically I've used the 187 as a, a base colour. Now I'm making and keeping the light there and we we'll do the other side the same not much to see in this eye so it's just a, just a little bit of tone in there that's fine you can overdo it because we're going to be putting dark around the edges of that so it won't matter if we go over the edges of that i haven't done there deliberately but um i have in the other i'm just going to bring back a little bit of light back in. This is the ivory back in again, just to graduate that effect. Now that's nice, I like that. That's almost 50% between the, the two different eyes I've got here. Okay, now that's, that's good. I can go back in again with a, a later on. I've got a, a 283 in a minute, which I shall use, but not yet, because what I want to do is create the depth in there. I've got a little bit of depth. This is 273. I don't want to push too hard here. I just want to put a little bit in, because I'm, being, I'm going to be using two other colours, and I don't want them to, including the black. That's looking good. Now, this is a stage when I just check that both eyes are looking in the same direction than they are. So that's okay. I don't want a boss eyed black lad, do I? Okay, that's good. Now I'm going to put the um, 175, I can find it. Here we are. Now that goes on top and then I'm going to I'm not going to stop for a minute because then we want to start to develop the outside of the eye. I always try as you know to keep the light in the eye as best I can. Now that's okay, that's good. And do the same here. Okay. The dog's eyes aren't that tricky. And you follow the rules. Now, one of the rules is that we have to get the outside done. I know I've left that bit in the middle, but there's a reason for that. I come down here and into there. Good. Now, just there, we've got light on the 
left and the other set I've already put them out on the top. I just want a very thin, very thin line there. This is, I'll probably be using, well I certainly will be using black later on, but this is 175. is always a good colour, as 181 would be if it was a, the, the bluey hue. Just to test the water before you commit yourself to the black. You see now that looks really nice, doesn't it? Let's go down the other side here. I haven't got so much on it. And of course the shape of the eye is completely different because we'll be looking at it on the side. Okay, and then once again it's a bit deeper here because we're looking at the edge of the eye. So we can afford to be just a little bit stronger there, but not there. So it's a strong line there and a fine line there. And that bit of eyelash coming out from there. Okay, that's great. Now I'm just going to put a couple of division. Now I could use grey here, and you think, well, well, he's done it before. Why doesn't he use the grey as I did with the pupil? Well, it's just too small, to be honest. It too small to do it. So one seven five would be a better colour to use there. The lovely. Now is the turn of the two eight three and the two eight three can. Fill up the gap there, like that, and that can come down to there and in here. It can come in here and it can fill in here. Now, don't worry that that looks a little odd at the moment. It won't do when I finish because when I put the black in, I will be going over those areas. Now, I've got to put a shadow across the top of that. Uh, so I think what I'll do is I'll put... Uh, well, this time I will use the 273. But I don't think there's much point, is there? Mm, decisions, decisions. No, I think I'd better follow what my instinct would be to also put 175 in there and then we put the 283 gives me the strength and that looks good like that. Uh, same over here and that comes around there got another one here I'm missing not look that's it better That's good. Now we have one eye looking slightly differently. And then the reason for that is that I've extended the pupil area or the eye area. It means that's more in the centre now, so it's now looking at a slightly different direction to that. Oh, but that's all right because I'll sort that out in a minute. Now comes the black. Now all that preliminary work that you've done is going to pay off now because we want the black in. We want to cut around here, and this is what I was talking about. Is you, you now push that pupil back over this way a bit. Just to prove it, I will darken the pupil. Remember, we've had 273, 175, and now black on that. Now let's change it. And then we have up the top and down the bottom. That, that gives, following the same line we had with the 175 earlier, that comes down into there, and in here we darken it again. This is why I said we needn't have worried too much earlier. And we just come in with the black very, very carefully. I've got several blacks here, in fact, I might find a sharper one because I'm going to need some sharp blacks to create the effect that I want. In here. There. there. Now I do think of this one. Yeah. 
it's coming along. Now we need to 283 again. 283 is going to help us to just to get just a little deeper area. And you can also go over the back a bit here. It's, it's like mixing the two together, but you now see the difference I made. That was enormous difference. Now the same thing would apply here. We mix the black and to make three together, we may have to here. We may have to put some more black in there. We will have to. It's not enough. There it was, but here it isn't. So we put the black back in again, and then we bring carefully bring the black back. And then, great. And now it's a question of adjustment. We've got to adjust. I'm going to put a little bit of a more ivory in there. I'm going to put the two eight three. I have in fact got another two eight three here, which is just a slightly different colour. You may not have this, it was the original one, but it, it just gives me just a little more edge that I, that's good. A bit more black in there like that. Yes, this is adjustment time when we, we look at the, the whole thing together and then we, sometimes when I get to this stage, I completely ignore the reference picture because what we're looking now so just put a little bit of white in there because that just it just picks up a little bit. Now the, the eye itself is looking slightly over to one side, so we'll just make that slightly different by putting a little bit of black in there. This is where that's perfect. I hope you saw that. What I would do if it was me, I would replay that bit because that is so important to see how that works. And it's quite dark through here, so we now bring that black that we've already made, we bring it back into shadow. Never be frightened of that, because it makes such a difference if you bring the shadows back in. And a little bit of 187 now back in again. Can find it, here we are. And we put a little bit of 187 in there, and that creates that There, a little bit of ivory, and we are nearly there. Let's cut back a little bit here. There you go, now that is lovely. That is lovely. And we can also put a little bit of light back in. Now that almost would have been, certainly been interfered with because of all the other colours, but it's not a problem. There goes the light back in again. And it's put it, it put the eye back on track. I'm pleased about that. We've still got a little way to go with the um, eye itself because we've got to put black around it. And we can now whittle back just a little bit the edge of the eye there. And if you then use, you have to be a sharp one, you can use the sharp black just to put a little bit there, which suggests the roundness to the eyes. See that? Follow it through again on the other side. This is 187. And this is when light and dark, the light on top of dark works really well. Because you don't want it to appear exactly the same colour as that. But that does really look stunning now. My goodness, that is good. A little bit more light there. The more contrast you have, the better it looks. I'm quite sure I like that little bit of stray white that's gone on there. That's it. I like that. Great. Um, small adjustments like just putting the edge of that. Soften it slightly because we don't want it to be that hard. That eye is virtually done. I say virtually because I'm going to be just, just tempering the the depth in here, just a little. You see, what you can do with this is you can put a little bit of grey, this is 273 on there. You can even put a touch of 175 on as well. Now you think, well, no, hang, hang on, you're darkening, you're losing it now. Yeah, you are, but you can then come back in with the white, because you've already put the white in, so it'll re... and then, then you get a different, a different effect. Excellent. So that one is as good as finished. I may have to just touch it up a little bit, folks. I mean, when I say it's finished, it, it, I always go back over and just titivate. But to all intents and purposes, it's 
it's done. This is the sort of thing I would do and it would be very boring to watch. I'd go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And I've given you a flavour of what, what will happen and I'll do that again in a minute. I just get it absolutely perfect then. Now the other side, it's not so bad that side, but we have got to move, we've got to change it very slightly. So we've got to move it down a little bit. Uh, 175. A little bit down here. Add a little bit of black down here. That's got the eyes looking as I want them. Maybe, maybe just a touch more there. See, once you've got one eye, you can then go on the other eye and make it work exactly the same. That's good. Great. We just put that 283. Used before. Over this side, there's very little light. So the light is, is being diffused. It's only, that's my, um, that's my special. There we are. Just a little bit more red in this particular. Oh, that nice light there. Come back with with your 187. And 187 really acts sort of like a blender. Or in between the dark and the light. Remember we can put the ivory back in again. We certainly will do that. I'm not quite sure I've got that eye as perfect as it is. Let's just move it. That's better. These, these are little adjustments that you can do. Ah, that's good. I like it. Now we've got to darken that eye in there. Uh, we're going to darken with a little bit of black. And we've also got to do... Now this is tricky because we've got an area here which is dark as well. Let me just show you. Uh, sometimes an idea to put that, to put that in. A little bit of depth in there. It's the way the shadow is on this particular animal. Comes down there. That's good. Now I've got a little area there, which is no man's land. So what we'll do with that? Two, eight, three. I can't make it too dark because if I do, it's going to run into the dark of the animal. <coughs> so we have to do a little bit of. Uh, adjustment there. But this is why I've chosen this animal for you. It's probably not the most attractive um, black Labrador we ever, but it's got some very good features which I think is important, especially in the teaching side. Now th this is black, so now we've filled that in okay. I think that looks all right. We've still got the ivory to bring, bring back and that's good there. Got that okay. Now let's bring the ivory back now and see how that looks. Same as this. Here you know, this is stunning. Um, yes, that's great. And then the other thing is the eye. The white in the eye. If it works, I'll leave it alone. And that that works. So that's it. I think, as I say, I'll do a little more motivation. But what I wanted to show you now, I'm going to pull back and then show you how we can now create the fantastic fur. This is all back. This is all base color. Remember, I'll show you how the black changes all of that.